Maya is a popular 3D package with a lot of external rendering engines that can be integrated with it. Today we'll take a look at the best rendering plugins for Autodesk Maya and how it is going to help you work on your projects and we are going to start the countdown with number 11 Radeon Pro Render. Radeon Pro Render, formerly known as Fire Render, is an open source path tracer from AMD. It is based on OpenCL, which benefits from AMD's high performance Radeon Race technology. ProRender is a powerful, physically based rendering engine. It can simultaneously use and balance the capabilities of multiple GPUs and CPUs on the same system at the same time. Radeon ProRender is a free rendering plugin that comes with a library of materials you can use for free within Maya. Number 10 Fourier Ball. Fourier Ball is a Maya plugin for real time GPU production quality. Fourier Ball RT offers advanced rendering techniques implemented directly into Maya with multi GPU support. Fourier Ball was developed for in house AAA studio purposes since 2009 and it was used for rendering a whole feature movie, Goat Story 2, in 2008. It is probably the first world rendering CGI feature movie for cinemas rendered only on GPUs and in 2015 the new version of Fourable RT was released with a completely rewritten core. Number 9 3D Lite 3D Lite is a rendering plugin for Autodesk Maya. It is easy to use while providing relative complexity to support rendering pipelines. 3D Lite was meant to be a commercial product from the beginning, however, 3D Lite team decided to make it available for free of charge from August 2000 to March 2005 in order to build its user base. The free 3D Lite comes with one full license with all the features but with a restriction to use a maximum of 12 cores for rendering on your computer, but if you want the unrestricted version you need a subscription or to purchase the license. 3D Lite has been used for visual effects work on many films, some notable examples are The Blood Diamond, The Chronicles of Reddick, District 9, Terminator Salvation, X-Men The Last Stand and much more. Number 8 Max War Render Max War Render is an unbiased 3D render engine developed by Next Limit Technologies in Madrid, Spain. This render engine comes with a standalone application also as a plugin for Maya. It is used in the film, animation and VFX industry as well as architectural and product design visualization. Maxwell Render was released to the public as an early alpha in December 2004 after two years of internal development utilizing global illumination algorithm. Maxwell Render has a multi-light feature which permits the changing of light intensity and colors in real time. It was used in feature films such as The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. And Maxwell 5 marked the release of a completely rewritten rendering engine using GPU much faster than the previous CPU only functionality. The new version also provides integrated cloud rendering for use across an internal network or third party render farms. Number 7 iRay NVIDIA iRay is a Maya plugin for rendering accelerated on the GPU featuring photorealistic and physical precision. When combined with the parallel processing power of NVIDIA graphics cards, it reaches speed levels that reduce the iteration time of the screens during the creative process. iRay is good when it comes to ease of use during the configuration of the scenes with results of a greater photographic realism and higher interactivity. iRay offers three rendering modes which support a wide range of design needs, workflows and content flexibility. Because the rendering nodes share the same high-level scene description and the same materials, iRay is able to support image mix when switching between modes. Number 6. Keyshot To render Maya scenes using Keyshot, there is a plugin for Autodesk Maya that allows real-time 3D rendering in Keyshot with live linking model update. There are two ways to import your 3D models into Keyshot direct import or through a plugin. 
you don't need a plugin to import your native 3D data. However, the plugin transfers data faster and delivers tighter integration between Keyshot and Maya, making the workflow faster. The Keyshot plugin links Maya and Keyshot together rather than putting Keyshot inside Maya. Number 5. Octane Render Octane Render is an unbiased rendering application with real-time capability. It was created by the New Zealand-based company Refractive Software, which was acquired by Autoy on March 13, 2012. Later versions of Octane Render continue to be deployed using web release. Octane Render was the first commercially available unbiased ray tracer that fully utilized the GPU, giving it significant speed advantage by allowing users to more easily modify scenes in real time. Octane Render was running exclusively on NVIDIA's CUDA technology, restricting it only to NVIDIA video cards. And now it is running on Vulkan, and therefore it is able to run on both AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards. Number 4. Arnold Arnold is an unbiased, physically-based ray tracing 3D rendering engine created by the company Solid Angle. Arnold actually comes with Maya, which means you have full access to it if you have the Maya subscription. Notable films that have used Arnold include Alice in Wonderland, Thor, Captain America, X-Men First Class, The Avengers, Pacific Rim, and Gravity. The chief architect of Arnold is Marcus, and the beginnings of what it is now known as Arnold emerged in 1997 when Marcus decided to write his own renderer. That year, he attended Seagraph, where his interest in stochastic ray tracing was piqued in discussions with friends attending the conference. Early versions of Marcus's render were called Render API. The name Arnold emerged when one of Marcus's friends suggested it after mocking an Arnold Schwarzenegger film they saw in theater. Solid Angle, the company behind Arnold, was purchased by Autodesk in early 2016. The acquisition was announced officially on April 18, 2016. Number 3. Redshift Redshift Rendering Technologies was founded in early 2012 in Newport Beach, California with the goal of developing a production quality GPU accelerated renderer with support for the biased global illumination techniques. At AMB 2019, Maxon CEO David McGovern announced the acquisition of Redshift Rendering Technologies. Redshift has the capability of out-of-core rendering which means that if a GPU runs out of memory because of too many polygons or textures in the scene, it will use the system's memory instead. In some situations, this can come at a performance cost so it is typically better to use GPUs with as much VRAM as you can afford in order to minimize the performance impact. Certain types of data like textures actually work very well without a core rendering. This means that even if your scene uses 4K or 8K textures, you can still expect great rendering performance. Number 2. V-Ray V-Ray is a rendering plugin that works perfectly with Maya. It was developed by the Bulgarian company Kaios Group, which was established in Sofia in 1997. V-Ray is a commercial plugin for third-party 3D computer graphics applications, and it is used for visualization in industries such as entertainment for film and video game productions, industrial design, product design, and architecture. V-Ray is one of the best plugins for Maya and that has been around for a very long period of time. Even though this plugin is not new, it is constantly developed and enhanced over the years. It used to be harder to adjust the settings to prepare scenes, but now it is easier to use and it is able to create better quality renders in a shorter period of time. V-Ray has a powerful CPU and GPU rendering build for the demands of high-end productions. V-Ray GPU Quora renders on CPUs as well as GPUs to take full advantage of all hardware. Kaios Group also launched V-Ray Next for Maya that allows artists to utilize the viewport and GPU much more. You can isolate specific areas of the scene with ease and one of the most important benefits of using V-Ray Next is the decrease of troubleshooting and debug time, 
which is almost always half the battle when working in CG. Number 1. Pixar Renderman Pixar Renderman is a photorealistic 3D renderer produced by Pixar Animation Studios. Pixar uses Renderman to render their in-house 3D animated movies productions and it is also available as a commercial product licensed to third parties. And for those who don't want to use it for commercial purposes, it is completely free. Renderman gives artists access to Pixar's toolbox for lighting and look development, which have already created amazingly sophisticated and complex imagery for feature film. Renderman was first presented at the 1993 Seagraph and it has been used to create digital visual effects for Hollywood blockbuster movies such as Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Lion King, Terminator 2, Toy Story, Jurassic Park, Avatar, Titanic, Star Wars, and The Lord of the Rings. Renderman has received two Academy Scientific and Technical Awards since. I hope you found this video about Maya's rendering plugins useful. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.